Hello, I'm Justin Heyer with LongRangeOnly.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Novagrade Double Gripper. This is an adapter that allows you to hook your cell phone up to your spotting scope or your binoculars, you know, any optic like that. So stick around, we'll show you what it's all about. All right, here we have the main components of the Double Gripper assembly. We have the main body here. You have plastic collets. The system comes with six or seven different ones. They have varying thicknesses to adapt for your different eyepiece diameters. Then you have an aluminum lock ring. The way that works, you snap the collet down in place and the aluminum lock ring cinches up. And as you can see here, as you tighten it down, I don't know how well that's gonna show up on video, but it's actually you know, collapsing, making it smaller so it grips really tight. Your double gripper arms are controlled super easily with one set screw each. So when you loosen that, you get adjustment in both the X and the Y direction. There's also a Z axis adjustment right here. These two little screws, that allows you to move your phone in this direction if for some reason you require that. I just left mine at the bottom setting and it worked great. And then here you have a hard stop to lock your phone when you push it up against it. Once you get the right setting, you just lock it in place with that Phillips screwdriver. Excuse me, with a Phillips screwdriver, you lock it in place and you're good to go. So to show you how easy that is to adjust, we're going to loosen both set screws. I'm gonna set both double grippers kind of where I think they need to be. Then these two arms are stationary. The other two are spring-loaded, so just using your fingers, you pull both of those out, your phone drops down in place. Now you flip it over and you try and line your, your camera up in the center of that hole. So I try and make sure that these are fairly straight on the body. Then you can see it's relatively easy to get this adjustment. So we just kind of push it around till we get it about where we think it needs to be. Based off what I'm seeing on the camera, that looks pretty good. Tighten that screw. Tighten that screw, flip it over, and then we can set, you know, just until that comes snug. Now we're going to take it outside and see how well we did. We'll hook it up to the spotter and see what fine adjustments we need to make. Okay, due to lack of camera equipment, I'm actually filming through my cell phone in the Novagrade adapter right now. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get the final adjustments. So I came right outside after showing you how to get it closely centered as you need to. And here you can see we got the spotter all set up. And now you just simply drop the Novagrade down onto the spotter. We tighten it up till it's snug. And now that it's tight, you can see we're not quite there. So I'm going to loosen both adjustments and start to make a little bit of an adjustment. So I scooted it up just a little. And then I actually needed to push it just a little bit to the right and just like that you zoom in just a smidge and you're now set up to start filming it really is that quick to get a new phone up and running is under a minute on this adapter it's a pretty slick system let's talk about getting proper collet selection here you can see three collets that are going down in size I'll start with the collet that I normally use on my spotting scope and without even putting the lock ring on, I just set it down on there. You can see there's quite a bit of slop. So I'll go to the next smaller size. And this one has a little bit of wiggle, but not near as much. I'll go even the size smaller. And this one doesn't quite fit down. I mean, if I really push it, it could, but chances are I'm not gonna like what it does to my optic at that point. So I go back to the one that was just bigger then this one, I start to put my lock ring on. Sorry, you gotta get it started, there we go. Now I can drop it down on the optic. Cinch it right up. You can hear it's getting close. Now it's nice and tight, and it holds the adapter in place just fine. This is kind of one of those situations where this particular optic could probably work with this lock ring, but I'm worried it would pull those rubber eye cups up over time. 
Something you could do is maybe order another lock, uh, excuse me, another collet from Novagrade, sand it out just a little bit so it fits better, or just do what I do and crank it all the way down. It's held just fine as I've filmed through these binoculars. Pretty simple to get set up, pretty easy to find. These are also super easy to carry in your pack. So if you have multiple buddies taking different optics, you can just find the rings before you go on your hunt that you'll need. And you can swap the same adapter across all your different optics and save a little bit of space and time that way. Now, one thing to note, and this is a common problem I've seen with all these different adapters, all of them assume that you have a very nice linear eye cup, like what you see on these Zeiss binoculars. My Meopta spotting scope, however, has this rubber eyepiece out front that is a slightly bigger diameter than where it's actually going to clamp on and it caused quite a bit of problems for me in getting a good grip and this was not a problem unique to the Novagrade in fact the reason the Novagrade I think was a little bit better is that collet would actually try and you know cinch down on it so my solution to that was just to wrap a few layers of electrical tape around this it brought it up to the right diameter now I can slide it over and clamp down on and as a bonus, I got a little bit of extra, extra electrical tape in the field if I ever need it. But that is something to see that I've actually noticed with a few different optics is if they've got that you know, rubber eyepiece that's slightly bigger, you may need to either remove that eyepiece or add a little bit of material right here in order for the Nova Grade to grip properly. It is worth noting, I don't know how well you can see it, but right here where there's quite a large hole for the camera to go through, on my iPhone, that leaves a gap because the camera is so close to the edge up here. If your camera sits down in further, that hole is completely covered by your phone, but where mine isn't, that allows a little bit of stray light to get in. So sometimes, depending on the lighting situations, I'd have to cover that like this with my hand to keep a shadow from developing. Because of that, occasionally on the videos that I film, you'll see a slight shadow right here, and that's just due to the stray light that's coming in. I uh, need to put a little piece of tape on there or something to block that stray light. It's a minimal inconvenience, but it's worth noting if you're getting that on your videos, that's probably why. I've been using this Nova Grade double gripper for a while now. I bought one of their single grippers, their original Nova Grade, back, I don't know, a year and a half or more ago. And when the double gripper came out, I knew I had to have one. So I called them, I was able to get mine converted over, and I've used it extensively in the field. It has been in my backpack since the day I got it. It's filmed all sorts of rock chuck kills. It's filmed a bunch of big game kills. It's gone everywhere with me. And here's one of my favorite clips from earlier this spring. This uh, rock chuck's real golden. One of the lightest colored rock chucks we had seen. And uh, my friend Josh was the one that actually killed it. But we were kind of wondering if he had actually missed and somehow ricocheted in. And when we were able to review the video footage, sure enough, that's what happened. He landed just a little bit low and skipped it right in and hit it right in the head. Kind of a cool shot to have on film. Hope you enjoy it. Here we have a Rocky Mountain Dragon Bear in its blonde color phase. Oh, just over there. Come down a quarter. Overall, I couldn't be more impressed with this adapter. This is one that I bought, you know, like I said, quite a while ago. I was able to get it upgraded to this double gripper. It is well worth going to the double gripper. It added a little bit more weight, but it is so much more solid. Easy to get repeatable when you set your phone back up. It's just a great adapter. There are lighter options, you know, but I like that this one cinches down with those collets. It gets super tight on my optic. It is ridiculously durable I haven't ever had to worry about it breaking and it's found a place in my pack so if you're looking for something you know a little more universal this is a great option and I couldn't speak highly enough about it so let us know if you have any questions go out and uh, check us out on our forum that's where you can ask our questions also follow us on social media we're on Instagram as well as Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel thanks for watching